Ariwa Consultative Forum has warned that Nigeria will go up in flames if Northerners decide to retaliate attacks on them in other regions. The Arewa Consultative Forum spokesman, Emmanuel Yawe, issued the warning while cautioning Northern youths against retaliation in the face of all forms of provocations. He said that Northern youths should remain calm and not set Nigeria ablaze by avenging attacks. In a statement, the Arewa Consultative Forum spokesman recalled how the 1960s retaliatory killings set the country in flames. He said, You see the thing about the North is that people will be provoking the North and the North will just keep quiet. But once the North retaliates, the whole country will go up in flames. So we will continue to advise Northern youths not to take the laws into their hands. They should remain calm and not set the country ablaze. This is coming at a time some Northern groups had declared Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, wanted for destruction of killings, sorry, for destruction and killings of Northerners in the Southeast. 17 Northern groups under the ages of the Northern Census Movement had made the declaration while placing a bounty of 100 million naira on Namdi Kano. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? I stand to be corrected if I am wrong on my position that I am about to state. The question is, has the North actually uh, been peaceful? The Northerners, as it were, have they been actually peaceful? But because to a very large extent, they have been the reason why violence is in the country. Is it that the Arewa group does not know? Or what exactly are they trying to tell us or what picture are they trying to paint because to the best of my understanding I can know I still recall that um, the northerners are known for violence and they have been responsible for lots of violent actions or activities in the country over time the question now is to what end is the Arewa Consultative Forum trying to prove or make us understand or tell us that um, the country would go up in flames if they decide to avenge? How many times have the Northerners actually attacked people from the southern part of the country and uh, the South did not avenge or, you know, take any steps against that? Of course, we can count it so many times. We can count a lot of times. Take, for instance, if we start from the 1990 or 1991, 1992, 1993, Rambonki Crusades in the northern part of the country where Christian, Christians were killed. Did the Southerners revenge? Did they avenge those killings? What, in what way have the Southerners attacked the, uh, the Northerners? No single record of any such attacks. What the uh, Southerners have actually done, especially in the Southeast, is to ask these people to leave. The Fulani headers who have been killing, destroying, and uh, you know, raping and perpetrating all forms of evil in the southeastern part of the country, where they were asked to leave, and the same thing happened in some part of the Southwest. In the, if they want to mention the issue that happened in Ibado, it could be recalled and mentioned as well that the Northerners living in the particular town were also violent. So it was a clash. It wasn't an attack. So the Northern Forum or Arewa Consultative Forum should not in any way try to paint a picture of the Southerners attacking the, the, the Northerners, when in the true sense of it, it is actually the Northerners who have consistently, you know, attacked Southerners, even in their own lands. They attack Southerners in their own northern lands and they come to the southern uh, land and also attack them. Should we talk about the attacks by the, 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 the carried out by the Nigerian security agencies in the southern part of the country, especially in the southeast, 
where people are being killed, mercilessly innocent souls are being taken, abducted, and so on and so forth. Of course, the Arawa Consultative Forum is not being uh, transparent, they are not being sincere in their conclusions or in their submissions as it were, and that should not uh, be accepted. They must take a role or they must play a role that is actually um, peaceful or that ensues peace and not trying to uh, uh, incite violence as they are, this particular statement is trying to, to, to do. Why? Because the northerners have been the ones attacking the southerners over the years and it is on record. They will come, the Fulanis come to the southeast, the south south, the southwest, and they trample upon people's farmlands and take what does not belong to them, destroy it all. Yet, people do not, you know, retaliate. They kill, they rape, they destroy farmlands. Nobody speaks because the southerners want peace to reign. Yet, they still threaten other people in their own lands. Take, for instance, the Mieti Allah. The cattle breeders, the full headsmen, and all what have you. Threatening the southerners in their own land. Take, for example, what they did, the full, the, the, the full jihadists in, in Delta, where they even came with bombs to bomb some places, some structures. So, guys, you can see that something is definitely wrong somewhere. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But this is history. And this is what is happening and has happened, you know, in our own time, before our very face. The federal government had not issued statements against it. Look at what happened in uh, Ohio State. The killing by Fulani headsmen and nothing, no statements yet up until now from the federal government. What does that tell you? To a very large extent, it tells you that the government that we have today is just um, trying to carry out the agenda of the people of the Fulani uh, uh, race, as it were. And that is what a lot of Southerners have concluded based on the body language of the president, the body language of the government of this administration. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it is. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.